In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to keep count. This simply means to count something while you're doing it. When I put flowers in a bucket for Jen, sometimes Jen says, put 100 flowers in each bucket. So as I do it, I need to keep count. I put in one flower and then two flowers and three. And as I do it, in my mind, I try to keep track. I try to keep count of the number of flowers that I put in so that I don't put in too many. Because if I put 105 flowers in a bucket and Jen sells it, then we gave three, or sorry, five flowers away for free. I'm having trouble doing math today. So when you keep count, it simply means to count something while you're doing it. Now to lose count, this is something that happens to me when I am putting flowers in a bucket. Sometimes I put in 50, 51, 52, and I get distracted and then I lose count and I forget how many flowers I've put in the bucket. I think, I think that was 52, maybe 53, and then I have to count again so I know how many are in there. So when you lose count, it simply means that you uh, got distracted, which often happens to me. And even though you were trying to keep count, uh, you lost count because you were thinking of something else. So to review, to keep count means to simply count something. There's an airplane going by today. If I was to keep count uh, during the day, I would say about seven or eight airplanes fly by. And when you lose count, it means you were counting something and then you forgot how many you did. Sometimes I walk up and down the driveway when the weather's bad and I try to keep count how many times I've done it, but often I lose count. So I will make little marks on the van to help me keep count. Well, I think I just used both phrases a bunch of times there. Hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from UIF. To miss out, yes, FOMO, fear of missing out. You are correct is my response. That is exactly what FOMO means. This is a newer phrase or a newer term in English. FOMO, fear of missing out. I think it started a few years ago, but I've been hearing it a lot more lately. By the way, I was gonna show you how I keep count on the van. Do you keep count this way? Um, I think it's dirty enough for me to do this. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. It's probably out of focus, but this is a method of counting that we quite often use. Maybe I'll do it down here um, and spin you around. That way I can see it as well. I should really wash my van. I'm not sure, do you keep count that way? Like one, two, three, four, five? It's a very simple way of keeping count. Uh, the other day I was bringing compost to the flower beds for Jen and she wanted 10 in each flower bed. So I had to keep count. Um, I didn't want to lose count. <laughs> so I used that method on the tractor. I would make little markings to keep count. Um, Anyways, I think I've just lost my train. Good thing I'm not trying to count something today because I just lost my train of thought and I'm not sure what I was counting. Um, what I was counting, what I was doing. Boy, this is turning into uh, Bob making mistakes while he speaks English. Anyways, here are many of our small flowers. I think these are actually weeds, but these are Lysianthus. I will definitely show you all of these out in the field in a couple of months. If we go over here as well. And some of you sometimes ask why we have this wagon. So if you see the little door, that door folds up and this door folds up. So light can get in through the ceiling. It's a little bit dirty up there. And we can close the doors at night uh, just in case um, if it's going to get cold. Like the other night, I think it went down to minus three. So we close the doors at night. Sometimes we even run a little heater in there just to keep the temperature above zero. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a few days with another short English lesson. Bye.